Good luck. All right, I go first. Um, so those who have seen my most recent game uh, have seen an example of me playing an opening. Well, I have played this opening before. I'm always learning more about it. Um, so the thing we learned last time is that I do need to play Pawn 5-5 five five, uh, to gain advantage from this opening. Um, so, let's see. I still think this is an acceptable move order, but I need to play Pawn 5-5 five five a lot sooner in this opening. Right, so we're going to play this now before stuff gets real. Um, Possibly I might have fumbled the move order already, but I think we're back into standard Joseki. Uh, I think. So I think I've managed to. Um, yeah, unlike my other tourney game where I flubbed the opening and by some miracle got this crazy position. Here, I think things are nominal. Um, without having any sort of insanity occur. Uh, that said, uh, there's probably some opening traps that I've not benefited from. That if I were to play the trap exactly right, there might be some move order finesse, but really I'm just trying to play a decent game here. Um, we'll get into finesses at some future point. So, um, I'm trying to recall, because it'd be good to recall. So, previous games, I've brought my silver up to this 5-4 uh, point, or 5-6, uh, but this silver has also climbed, and it's been a major headache. Um... Trying to remember what the deal behind this opening is. That is a colorful emote. All right. Can't get too distracted here. I am showing the chat window. Okay, yeah, that is captured. All right, so... Man. I just need a castle. I think this is the sensible course of action here. Um, I don't know if raising the silver is something I should afford time for right now, but pushing the edge pawn is something I should not neglect, as I did in a previous uh, teaching ladder game. Um, so let's get this pushed. Yeah, and building half Mino is usually a sensible course of action, but uh, what else can I consider here? Like, hmm. No, half Mino is sensible. I still haven't decided where my gold belongs, so... Yeah, let's build a castle before doing something crazy. We had enough crazy games for one day. So this is the concerning thing, is that um, I should have some way to deal with this silver and pawn climbing up here. Uh, my silver is one move too slow to 
confront it directly. And if I move the rook over to the third file, they just take my center pawn. Um... Hmm. I've been taught this already, and I'm embarrassed for forgetting it. But I guess this is how my memory goes these days. Silver, 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 pawn. Uh, I could block my bishop temporarily. <sighs> okay, I'm going to put my gold here. I... I don't like this, because that's a square I would like my rook to go on. But, yeah, no, I'm confused. But in the event that their silver manages to make it all the way up here... There will at least be somewhere my bishop can move to. Um. Mm. So I'm debating pushing the center pawn because that's thematic. And then my rook can take over here. I don't know what I was waiting for. In fact, yeah, no, I'm just... You know, this is stupid on my part. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is not working at all how I thought it would. Okay. Um... Okay, I'm pushing my center pawn, but yeah, this makes room for my bishop to go somewhere, and makes room for my rook, and I guess I'm claiming that my king's position is more secure than my opponent's king position. Um, I don't know that it's worth this huge thing that I just changed in the position. It seems like what I just offered was not worth it. Um, Hmm, so what can I make from this? If 
I exchange bishops, then drop it on this other diagonal, they do the same. And I've profited nothing from this. Um, yeah, I don't know. If I exchange bishops and sack for this, I could drop my bishop back here and promote it, but that's definitely not worth it. Um... Yeah, so I'm closing the diagonal after having just opened it. I guess the difference here is that their silver is in a weird spot, but that's not hard for them to fix. Ah, well. Um, let's see what I can make from this. So my bishop is blocked, my rook is blocked, my generals are in a weird spot, my king is kind of safe over here. Would be a lot safer if I could push this pawn up one and stick one of my generals here. Uh, hmm. Oh. Oh, that's right. Okay, so my big idea was to use this, um, I don't understand. I mean, I'll gladly take this pawn, this allows him to drop another pawn and then do bishop takes here. I shouldn't be so glad. Um, let's stick to the plan. But I think my perceived problem here is that if they move the rook over, I don't really have... I mean, yes, I can block the rook, but what's the point? Um... It just seems that somehow this rook is going to escape one way or another. Uh, but okay, we'll try to keep things interesting. All right, so we'll stick with the plan. The plan is concerning because, yeah, the only thing I can do here is put a pawn in front of my silver. Like, unless I have some brilliant sacrifice or somehow moving my gold up changes things, which it doesn't, they just pawn drop right here. And I basically, well... Maybe it is complicated. Maybe uh, moving my gold up toward the center might have some merit. Um, if they drop a pawn, I take. They sack for this bishop. Wait, no, there's a pawn in the way. Um, Okay, yeah, no. I'm struggling to understand which of us is more confused about this position. My gold sucks where it's at, so moving the gold would be kind of nice. Um, wait, they could just take the silver, can't they? And then fork me right here. 
All right. Well, that's disappointing. Um, hmm. Yeah, so I would be very tempted to do this sack and then put a general here and then threaten to take this gold. Um, I think the problem with the sacrifice might be that they're exchanging... A rook and another piece for a rook. If I just allow this fork and then move my gold away from the fork. Uh, yeah, they could chase... No, they can't chase the bishop instead of taking the rook. They'd have to take the rook. I'd take back. They'd have a rook in hand that they could promote immediately. I'd have a rook that I could promote defending. But my rook wouldn't defend my bishop if there's a gold in the way. Uh, so, it's a question of which castle is more secure here. Oh, okay, well, we're going to go for something more direct here, I guess. Um... I don't understand this. Oh, silver takes, pawn drop. Silver takes, then they hit my bishop. I pawn drop here. Knight takes, I hit their rook. I think it's okay. In any event, this is the sort of fight that we were seeking. As opposed to um, other stuff. Like, this actually, huh, this is kind of legitimate, because I can drop a pawn on the third file and start attacking. And with that kind of lever, suddenly my bishop has something to strike at. So, yeah, this is weird. Oh, but I guess, yeah, they take mul they they're threatening to push the pawn and then take the bishop and take the gold and then take the rook. Whereas if I try to do the same thing, I drop a pawn and threatening to take a rook instead of taking three pieces and instead of promoting on this diagonal. So, yeah, when they put this pawn here to attack my silver general, ugh, uh, I mean, I kind of have to take it, but... Um, yeah, this is not my finest plan. Okay, what? Okay, what's the deal here? So, oh, okay, so this, I guess, is trying to stop me from dropping a pawn on 7-3. Um, hmm. I mean, I can counter that by placing there immediately. I could put a pawn on 7-4, but that's no good, because then my silver is trapped. Um, if I advance the silver right now... There's really no plan or point to it. Um, if I move the bishop and they push the edge pawn, I drop in front of the rook. The rook moves over. My bishop really doesn't have too many places to go to, but does have some. Some is better than nowhere, but yuck. Um... Wait, actually, no, if I move the silver up and they hit my bishop, and if I run away, 
this pawn hitting my bishop removes its only white square. Um, Another fun aspect to this is the sack. Rook takes silver, pawn takes silver drop. They move this, I guess, to hit my silver. Yeah, that's not as fun as it looked at first. But I can take this gold. They recapture. And I have a gold in hand. I have a silver on pre. Everything's hanging. And that's not so bright. But yeah, the point is I could sack for this and then take this gold and try to do something. Alternatively, if I move the silver and if they push, I can move the bishop up, which I guess is the plan all along. And I should have seen this. Um, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. All right, well, this is going on a mission. Um, I forgot the rook and just hit it directly. Well, that, that's exciting. Um, that's inadvertently much too exciting. So, oh, so I don't have to even look at this rook takes silver I, I sack anymore here. Um, my opponent doesn't want any part of the absolute nonsense that I might be inviting accidentally. They want this directly, but this, now I can actually drop right in front of the rook and then drop again. I have a lever to break in. Um... But also I could just promote, and this rook advances, and I could start chasing the knight, but that's not as good. It's better for me to try to press this rook from the front. Uh, but if I hit the knight, the knight advances and hits my bishop. Well, I think it'll be okay. Ay, ay, ay. Now, if I drop this pawn, they just move the rook over. There's no continuation. <laughs> um, yeah, the silver retreats. They take my pawn. All right. So what do I do? I don't know. I could advance the silver without promoting it. Um, they move the rook either up or to the side or something. That's just difficult for me to get a promoted pawn. I guess we're going to go with my original idea. I'm not very confident in it, to put it mildly. No, the rook should just move away. Oh, this way. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's a problem, too. Okay. Is there any way I can counter all of these things? Not that I see. Mm, I'm so confused. So either 
somehow this actually counters what they're doing? Or I'm missing something obvious? Or both? Um... Like, yes, they want to activate the Rook. No, I don't want them to activate their Rooks, so I want to keep bringing my pieces up the board. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't really understand this. Like, normally I would bring the silver up the board, but I don't see that leading anywhere better than this. This seems fine because I can bring the bishop to the edge file and then bring my rook over to the third. Or, yeah, and just hit the knight where it stands. Um, plus this allows me to support a pawn 5-5 five five drop, so I'm very confused. Uh, the other thing I need to be aware of is, like, I know in general a bishop exchange does not favor me here. So maybe that calls for me to sacrifice my rook on 5-5 five five if they pawn drop silver 5-5, five five, silver takes, maybe rook takes. Might lead to something interesting. I don't know. But also if they pawn drop here, maybe I need to move the silver back and just offer the bishop exchange. Maybe this is an exception to the rule. I don't see especially what's wrong with the bishop exchange here. Um... Or I don't see what's especially wrong with it. Yeah. <sighs> I just don't understand. Their silver looks so strange here. I mean, what's it doing? What's their rook doing? I don't understand what their plan is. Meanwhile, I seem to have some targets I can barely easily snipe at. So, yeah, I don't know why they're aiming for this. All right, now if I do knight takes, they pawn drop, my knight climbs up here. I'm okay for now. <sighs> It's nerve-wracking leaving the gold on the same file as the pawn, because this leads to a pawn advance, but I temporarily have that covered. really like to use my knight. But I sense... I don't know. Like, my gold is better closer to my king, where it defends more stuff. 
it's even if somehow this loses a knight or a gold or any piece really it's probably still fine one of the things i'm struggling with this game is uh well beyond providing commentary is the notion that i'm supposed to pace myself because in chess we don't have this concern we don't really have this option so here um i just have to try to think of everything i can each move even if i suspect that i'm in deep trouble so what i'm concerned about is a pawn drop in front of my silver and then i'm gonna drop a pawn in front of their rook oh okay so i can't block this that's not good um i'm sorry i can't use a pawn to block that there is one piece i can block this attack with but i don't know Don't know if it's worth blocking. I want to sack. It's not worth it. My rook is so sad here. Oh. Uh-oh. There's a pawn drop right in front of my knight. Um. Well, that sucks. Um. Shoot. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. There's the sacrifice, too. All right. This gives back the piece. But it's fine, I think, because I can still start an attack with this kind of material. Um, yeah, sacrificing one piece for two is a pretty common tactic. And it's useful, especially if it allows you to break through in a position. Um, See, so yeah, that's perfectly reasonable for my opponent to do that. Um, my big idea is that I want to sack this rook for the silver just to try to get some lever to open this damn king side. Um, but... It's not going to work that way. Um, Thirty I don't know what compels me to do such a crazy thing. Well, no, I'm concerned about this rook promoting on the file. So, um, yeah, this is the timing for such a thing, although it puts both my rook and my bishop at risk. And I really don't have an attack of which to speak right now. You need to have four pieces attacking for it, the attack to never run out. And I have maybe one attacking somewhere, kind of, sort of, near the king. So, yeah, my attack is kind of doomed. Um, oh, and then my rook takes silver idea doesn't work here either. Um, yeah, that's concerning. All right, 
but still. Um, what can I do? He's gonna fork me again. It's fine. I guess we're gonna promote and try to chase the king. So I'm still committing to this sacrifice, and I think I get some material out of it, but also I get this rook away from this gold. Oh. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, I guess I'm taking this. This work can only promote once, so... Um... Then we're going to move this toward the king. Um, what now? So it behooves me to continue attacking. I wish I had more confidence in my attack here. So if somehow this gold takes there, eventually it's going to be prone. If the gold does not take my pawn, then my pawn might support a lever that somehow attacks toward their king. So this supports an idea of doing a silver drop here and then pushing this pawn. Maybe not in that order. Maybe we'll push the pawn first. Gold takes, token takes, gold takes, silver drop, gold take. I don't know. There's got to be some reasonable order in which to threaten stuff. Or maybe I just need to promote my bishop and take this uh, lance. I don't know. So much is unknown. So, they certainly have a silver they could drop on 5-5 five five to block my bishop. Um, hmm. So, 
Silver drop takes, 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 takes. They take my bishop here. This is such a weird position. So I'm trying to control 5-5. Five, five. If they put a silver here, I might just sack and take it. Um, okay. We're going to borrow an idea that we saw in Shogi Harbor recently, that a rook is less effective if um, it's not seeing the king. So let's block the rook. You have to be careful which file you put the pawn on. Yeah, so this is a sensible space for the rook as well. Now I could put another pawn back here. If the dragon takes, I push this and they could sack the dragon. And I get a gold out of it. But more likely if I push, they just drop a silver back here. So I think it's more appropriate for me to attack now. So I think this is what I need to do. It's going to take a while to break down the gate of this castle, but I don't think I have any choice here. Also, it's harder to conduct a, an attack without a knight and without a rook. But um, I'll do what I can. Okay. Oh. Oh, well, that's interesting. Hmm. I don't know what to make of that. I was complaining about not having a knight. I can have one if I really want it. But I don't see... Like, if I don't take it, he's going to put another rook on the first rank and I'm screwed. Yeah, I don't understand this position. I don't know where to put my knight to combine it with my other pieces. Like, at this point, I the best I see is I start exchanging pieces, which is not going to help me. It's not going to accelerate my attack any. Probably makes more sense to take there without uh, promotion.
This is just so extremely slow for an attack. So I guess every time I do this, I'm giving up a turn to win a general. Um, but no, actually now I, I've pushed this pawn. I could put a pawn on 5-9. Uh, that could save my butt. So maybe there is a purpose to the way I played it. It's just not the perp. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's sharp. Um. Jeez. Okay, so. I guess we're in this mutual attack phase of the game. I don't see how my attack prevails, but um, I'm better off with them having one less general and me having one more right next to their king than any other way. Um, okay, I have one legal move. Wait, no, I have two legal moves. Um, Okay, that's check. Oh, they have a gold in hand. This is not good. This is markedly not good. Um... I am so confused. I'm struggling to read this out. Wait, what? Is this so? All right, well, there's only one move worth considering here, because the other gets mated in one. Um, like, oh, never mind. Now I see the mate. All right, well played. Good game. All right, so this is a teaching ladder game. And as with all teaching ladder games, we're going to have a post-game analysis. Let's uh, have at it. <laughs> uh, all right. So, um, yeah, we had who knows what kind of move order snafus, but we got this critical position. Um, so, yeah, at this point we both castled, and I still need to figure out, like, there's reasonable ways to play this. Um, yeah. 
so I still need to figure out like a uh, plan here. Mm. So there's like this and this, or there's bringing this up. Um, At some point, I might want to move the bishop up here. Um, but yeah, I didn't really have a super concrete concept to go with here. Oh, King 1-8. I think I read that out. Wait, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I did, oops, sorry, he was indicating something. There was an arrow right before I hit the button. Um, ah, all right, so he's trying to target this. So, yeah, so I was thinking, like, if I tried this, you're... Uh, oh. Wait, what's this mean? Does, is he saying he wants to push this pawn instead? Um. Oh, I see, but yeah. I guess here this would be a pawn sacrifice, wouldn't it? Oh, sorry. Uh, I need to give him the host if he's going to show some positions um yeah no it's rook two nine and f king one eight unless i'm uh tripping um but yeah <sighs> to play uh silver a move earlier so I need to do this, oops, shoot, I need to do this up, uh, instead of putting, whoops, instead of having this up here, yeah, that matters quite a bit here. Yeah. Um, so, oh, okay, yeah, so I'm back to being the host. So, um, I wonder if this is playable. So, this is kind of interesting, no? Um, Right, so this blocks my bishop, at least for a moment. Um, spent a little time looking at this, but probably not enough. Yeah. Um... Yeah, well, I think in the final position where I resigned, it was just mate and one. So uh, I think there's nothing, no shame in that. But um, yeah, this strikes me as kind of curious. Like, I've gotten trouble playing similar things before, but this might, yeah. Yeah, this definitely is of some interest. Yeah, it's tricky. Uh, 
else could be interesting. Suppose it's a different game. Um, I guess we'll see some other time. Maybe some other week I'll get my act together and we'll get this uh, position and get to explore it deeper. Um, sure. Yeah, let's take a look back at the game. So here, yeah, here I think I'm in trouble already. Um, so that's why I jettisoned the pawn. Um, yeah, I think it's reasonable what he did, but uh, I mean, what can I do here? I just couldn't figure it out. Um, like, my rook's not active. He's going to continue having this threat of breaking the second file. Uh... But meanwhile, like, this is still clearly attended. Um, I mean, I guess with the bishop exchange, anything could happen, but I don't know. Uh, usually trading uh, bishops is bad for me here, so... Although, this blocks my bishop. Uh, I guess I kind of expected this, maybe. Like, I don't think I've expressed at all just how confused I am. I've said I'm confused, but, like, I appreciate positions where I have some sort of inkling of a plan, and here I just don't see what I can try. Um, could I use the silver to defend after trading bishops? Um, pawn 6-4 seems better. Okay. Yeah, I guess he likes my pawn 6-4 suggestion. Uh, oh. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, we got this position instead. Um, yeah. And I avoid exchanges, so like, here we could have seen something like this, and it would have been more or less a disaster. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, we didn't want to see this. Um, it's kind of fun when I get chances to attack, but, um, yeah, one, one pawn down, I could develop pieces. Oh, I guess that's true. But, yeah, with him activating his rook and me having no way to activate mine... And with me only having a half Mino castle, I'm a bit nervous. Silver 6 7 seems good. Um, oh, okay. So, yeah, we're talking about um, over here, I guess. 
I guess so. Yeah, I guess this holds together a lot better. Um, oh, yeah, possibly we're not looking at the same board. I know, like, we're taking turns kind of alternating comments and variations, and it's confusing a lot of people, myself included. Um, so I could slow down the pace of the analysis. I just, I'm so confused already. I wish I had a lot more to volunteer or a clearer idea what I was trying to look at. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, he's still at some other position. Um, I mean, I could offer him the uh, position host if he's trying to show something. We keep offering it to each other back and forth. Um, but I don't think he was asking for it, but we can offer it to him. One thing I like about Lee Chess is the collaborative analysis mode where like you can see the entire tree being built out and I forget whether or not you can see the node of the tree that the other person's at, but um, either way you have a complete analysis tree that you're building together and you can alternate between variations adding and removing moves. Um, oh. At the time, I liked it, uh, but later the gold felt exposed here. Um, um, so... Hmm. Yeah, it's hard to suggest a concrete way for the opponent to break through. Um, this holds for the time being, but I don't think it holds that long. I don't know. It's certainly difficult to work around. Uh, pawn 6-4 here. So you're talking about this. Um, oh! Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how do we remove the pawn and start forcing exchanges. Alright, what can I do? Assuming I'm not a fan of this file being opened, is there anything I can try? Um, <sighs> so... Maybe, hmm. but take pawn eight five. I need to not put the pawn on seven five. Um. Oh, I guess there's some problem with the pawn on. Uh, yeah, I was looking at so many crazy things that looking at normal things really was not something I was considering. Um. So like. There's this whole, um, 
I don't know. Like, uh, I'm threatening a pawn drop, threatening to take the silver, and drop the silver, fork this, and try to promote my bishop. Um, am I sure I don't want to exchange silvers earlier? I don't know. Bad things tend to happen in this opening when I exchange silver generals. Oh god. What is this? Yeah, so we have to take here. Um, okay. I don't know if this is the right move, maybe? This looks complicated. Hmm. In general, this rook 7 6 did have me quite concerned. Maybe not this particular position, but almost every other position I was concerned about it. Um. Hmm. Uh, what do we do here? Can I... no? Oh, surely there must be something I can do. Yeah, I don't know. Um, oh, this... yeah, okay. This is something opponents do do fairly regularly. Let's tuck the rook away. Um... Okay, I guess so. If Bishop takes them. What now? Wait, I'm I'm not in the middle of a mate threat. No, is this not a move? Um. Yeah. Yeah, perhaps this is a bit aggressive. And that I seem to be getting a lot of material for um not very much there, but I mean maybe it still works. It's just complicated. Um but yeah, this seems more than adequate. Um So, yeah, this gives me a tempo to do something. Um, I wonder if I should have tried uh, pawn 7-3. Didn't seem to work. Um... Goes to draw the rook closer with the pawn. Yeah. Problem is, our opponent knows exactly where to put their rook in response to anything I can do. They have a good rook response to it. So they know this Joseki stuff, and I don't. But also, they're good at recognizing things. It's not just a matter of knowledge, it's. Partly knowledge and experience, partly just ability to figure things out. Uh, they want to move this rook to 6-2. Oh! Yeah, 
a pawn 7 3 would just be a wasted move. As it was in the game. Uh, I entirely uh, just evaluated uh, this threat. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Um, so, uh, yeah, this opened up. They were able to exchange bishops, promote the rook, and so on and so forth. Um, so that was a decisive entry. And at this point, I don't think there's anything I can do to stop it with my silver offsides and all of my pieces blocked, and I've only built half Mino. Trying to make my castle more solid at this point is a futile endeavor. Uh, Rook 7 2 is dangerous. Because I'll be able to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that too. Um. Yeah, several times I did consider maybe well yeah I considered sometimes rook takes silver but it's never worth it to give up a full rook even just to s slightly damage their castle it's just not anywhere near enough damage and the rook is immediately decisive against my position um so, yeah, this kind of welcomed their attack. This uh, was a nice drop. I don't really, I mean, I considered this maybe. Uh, whoops. I forget if I'm host or not. I'm not. Maybe bishop eight, five. No. But yeah, I've already handed over the host status, so. Um. Yeah, I don't know if this is terrible, but I think he just exchanges and I'm left in the same dilemma. Or, I'm sorry, no, he just leaves my bishop here, uh, out to rot, and finds somewhere to put the rest of his pieces. Oh, I want to follow the latest position. Sorry. Bishop takes, knight takes, pawn 6-6, six, six, silver takes. Yeah, so my knight's exposed. Um, yeah. I'll agree with anything. Uh, uh, this slows promotion of your rook. So at least I have something to fight for here. And that's trying to frustrate my opponent's plan. I don't seem... I'm not seeing anywhere I could put my pieces. Like, my knight's blocked, my pawn's blocked, my gold is blocked, my rook's blocked. I could put a bishop anywhere, but it's probably going to get blocked too. But yeah, this bishop drop would have at least slowed down the inevitable. Um, rather than hasten it. I got impatient, though, so I played a fighting move, and this is what games are made of. Um, how about pawn 7-2? Uh, wait, oh, this! Um, hmm. Well, so I was concerned. 
Well, okay, yeah, that's possible. And probably saner than my suggestion. Um... Yeah, I was alarmed about all of this. I don't know how reasonable any of it is, but... Um... But I thought their attack was just crushing even with a sacrifice like that. Hmm. Maybe sacrificing the rook is too much. I don't know. Uh, this just speaks to my need to practice uh, Sume. But also, like, my attack is nowhere, and this attack seems to be a lot further along. So, I have some idea. I don't know everything. But um, this is concerning nonetheless. This boat castle's kind of hard to see sink. Um, oh. Um, that's an idea. I'm not sure that that holds, though. Like, a rook is a lot to give away here. Um... I like the attacking and defending nature of this. Uh, however, I don't think this holds. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Well... Okay, yeah, I guess that's certainly better than nothing. Um, hmm. Jeez, that came out of nowhere. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I guess this defends both golds and protects the vulnerable Vibe 2 square. Um, I'm slightly warming up to this idea, although getting anything onto 5-3 is still going to be quite difficult, but this might be better than the alternative, because we saw what happened in the game. Um, so yeah, maybe a sacrifice in the rook might have been too much here. This should, yeah, this, you're right, this general is defended by this bishop, so the bishop can't move away. Um, you might have a point, though, that, like, if I could force him to sacrifice there, not that I can, but if I could, that would be something. So yeah, I'm prone to this fork here again, and like my knight's not going anywhere. Um, I couldn't find a move here. This was too hard. Maybe there isn't a move here. Like, I could drop a bishop in so many places, but none of them seem to do anything. 
Uh, okay. Um, I guess this forces the opponent to make a decision. This is good. So I guess we take this way, right? Oh, uh, hmm. We have two pawns left to sack. Uh, this rook is going nowhere fast. Um, yeah, I want to drop a bishop, but this doesn't lead anywhere. And I want to sack the token, but this has problems too. Maybe I needed to drop the piece back here. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I needed to put the silver on 4-4 four, four instead of 6-6. Six, six. I just got so excited by this fork, but... Um... Hmm. Yeah. So, hmm. maybe this instead. Uh, maybe this is best. Uh, the best I can play here. Um, yeah, this is certainly a plan. And it it could work against me, that's for sure. Um Yeah, instead I just played some random attacking move and tried to inch closer to the castle and did not get too far. Um Maybe this sack was way too optimistic. Hmm. The problem is that, like, it's, it takes a long time for me to get my remaining pieces near this castle. Yeah, they walk away, and so I just put a pawn here, and the next thing I can put a silver up, and just very gradually work my way toward this. And even if I do manage to force him back a rank, he's got several ranks to work with, and he's got he's threatening to put both rooks on my back rank. Or he's got several files to work with. Not a lot of chances, but there's something here. Um, this gets slightly complicated. Um, not very, because, like, here... Yeah, there's multiple ways he can deal with that. And that might be the easiest way he can deal with the threat. Um, yeah, protect his castle, and, like, now I can't put any of my pieces anywhere adjacent to these, but at least I forced his gold to move up where it does not want to be. So 
So that was the idea, is that if I could split the golds, then maybe I can make some kind of progress. But he didn't fall for it. Um... So, uh, I mean, I do have alternatives here. They're very, very slow, but the move I picked might be even slower. I mean, maybe I should bring my bishop forward? Um, oh, he can't take both of my pieces at the same time, can he? Uh, yeah, both of these, um... Even though they're both hanging, I you can't take them both at once. So, uh, yeah. Somehow I just imagined both of these pieces disappearing, and I had nothing. But um, here I actually have one tempo. Um, and maybe now I it behooves me to move some. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. This is what I should have tried. Not that it's any more likely to succeed, but um, it's still the best way to attack. His attack is just like so much faster because I've given him both rooks. Um, so my back rank is hideously weak and it's fairly easy for him to put a knight and other pieces close to my castle so like yeah it certainly doesn't benefit me to waste another move moving my bishop but um we tried to do something and yeah i sacked my bishop because i need to keep this intact but my castle still collapses faster at this point, yeah. Uh, on 5-9, so I can't really do this anymore. Um, so, yeah. Because here you can just take this, yeah. Or, yeah, even this sack is fine. That's a good point, too. Oh! Well, he already had one silver, so my exchanging this... Maybe it was fatal for me to exchange that. This is why you won't need to practice and know your sume. So you can understand which exchanges are fatal for you before you make them. Because once you made them, there's it's kind of hard to get out of that. Um... Yeah, well, I dropped the silver because I thought my bishop was on pre. Because I can't... I don't know. Evidently, he couldn't take both the bishop and both of my tokens at the same time, so... It would have been okay if I just pushed. Um, would not have won or anything like that, but it would have been better than the actual game. So at the end, I just kind of collapsed. 
which was unfortunate. Yeah. Oh. Wait, so this is instead of promotion, I could have put this down. Um. Because I might potentially need my other pawn as a token, because, like, I can't put my knights anywhere in the middle of this boat. All the weak points in the boat that are vulnerable to a knight are covered by the pawns, so... Yeah, it makes sense that if I'm going to put something on my back rank, it should be the knight. Uh, um, yeah. Possibly this pawn drop was a wasted move, but it's already quite difficult at this point anyway. Thanks. Uh, I'll keep trying. That's brutal, man. Shogi's hard. And we've met an opponent here who knows how to play this stuff. Um, I mean, we're all learning together. That's the point of the teaching ladder, but I just feel bad when he only gets one game a week. And it's against me struggling with this stuff. I, I just feel a little bad for him. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, he tries to improve as well. Likewise, uh, thanks for the game and analysis. Uh, yeah, that's exciting. Uh, I think Freeze had spin at 2 Don before, and then shifted down to 1 Don, but the highest end of it, and then shifted back up. Uh, yeah, he always plays at a very high standard. Yeah. We have a match, or rather, he seems to participate every week, so we'll see him around. Maybe we'll have more players uh, join um, next week. Who knows? Um, so we'll put this on the big board. Yeah, this is an adventure and a half. Um, so it's true, I could have played some better attacking moves in the end. I don't think I could have found any better defending moves, although probably some exist, but it's very hard. Um, so, yeah. Let's see, what are the comments on this game? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, there might be some lines where somehow this uh, the horse could affect the game. But I think the general idea is that my opponent's just got a superior position. So this is how the game concluded. So uh, variation A is uh, this mate. Let's see. And variation B is this here, mate. So this is the point at which we conceded. Um, actually, no, I'm blind. I'm like super blind here. So let's actually work this out. Um, so, yeah, no, actually I was right, but for the wrong reason. 
It was not mate in one. It was actually mate in three. Uh, still, it was a checkmate. So even though I'm blind, it's fine. Um, it's not like the other week where I resigned in a one position. Um, that'll happen from time to time. But yeah, it was a good game. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for the assistance with the post-game analysis. And I'll have to... Oh, yeah, no, that's a fair point, that if this pawn weren't in the way, we'd have a different game on our hands. So, if you're defending a position, bear that kind of idea in mind, too. But yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for the help with the analysis, and have a good night.